Aaron. There's a lot of excitement with the explosive rally in the cryptocurrencies and many sectors of the stock market and commodities as well. But can Bitcoin cash wake up? I think it can, but it needs to pass a couple of tests. We're going to go over the specifics on Bitcoin cash and compare it to some of the other prominent altcoins and even touch on the stock market a little before we shift over to the big picture view. As usual, my charts will be available in the description below, so check out the links there. This is the 30-minute chart in Bitcoin Cash, and we did follow through with a lower low, and therefore, this red nomenclature will be extended out to here. Right now, our low sits at 95.17, and we've bounced up pretty strongly since. It doesn't look like much on the big picture, but it's something. Now, when we look at the internal structure, there's no nothing really clear. This could be a completed impulse, could be five waves up, but there aren't any real prominent characteristics. So the best thing we can see happen here is that we continue rallying upwards to give us more of a structure to project from. As I mentioned, there is explosive action in a lot of the other cryptos. Many of them were lagging a little bit, but they finally woken up. Bitcoin is the one that's impressing me the most because this is the one I need to really see move as it is the most, uh, well, it's the biggest biggest cryptocurrency and it represents the sentiment overall better than anything else and it's finally giving us some higher highs we actually almost touched 23,000 although we've pulled back decisively this does look like a healthy consolidation ethereum was the coin that drew my attention the most i went over this in my state of the cryptos update which was the last update before this one and we have what looks like not just a third of a third but a larger third wave pretty close to complete if not uh, if not yet it should get a little bit higher before we're done but this is what you want to see off of a bottom before we're done however there's a chance that this is a c wave up you're never completely out of the woods until you have a full five wave pattern up so we need to see a complete third wave go down for our fourth and then finish a fifth wave up and ethereum classic is in the same situation other coins are seeing uh various rally uh, upsides polygon really caught my attention this thing's up it was over 20% up earlier today. And the most impressive is arguably going to be our crypto blockchain space where we had a, we we're up over 32% at one point in Marathon Digital Holdings. And Riot has been following through as well. They all seem to be in a bit of a consolidation at the moment. So right now, things are looking pretty good for the other coins. And I expect to see some fall through from Bitcoin Cash as well, as it does seem to lag a little bit, little bit behind other uh, currencies. Now, when we look at our short-term picture for the uh, stock market itself, this is the S&P 500. I know this is the daytime view, but uh, we didn't make a lower low here. So it looks a lot more like most of the other cryptos. And uh, we possibly have some kind of an impulse structure giving us some upside potential. But I put my figures back on. We're going to get some kind of a corrective rally, most likely, uh, with, with, uh, with at least this sector leading the way. We have some other sectors that are actually lagging behind certain sections of the stock market, such as healthcare, finance, they'll often run ahead. So they may catch up and surpass everything. We're also seeing a similar bounce in the oil and energy space. So shifting to our big picture chart, really haven't changed anything major, although this is one of the coins where we did get a slightly lower low. So I adjusted my fibs just ever so slightly. Uh, it's not really, doesn't make too much difference on the big picture. Uh, when you look at it, when it's all said and done, I'm actually gonna adjust this box a little bit downwards, but we have our MACD divergence holding the MACD. So again, we've had lower and lower and lower lows, yet we've looked less and less stretched. So that's a classic bottoming sign, not just for Bitcoin Cash cryptos, but for pretty much any asset. And you can see that green shoot of optimism that's developing off the bottom. It doesn't look like much yet, but it is, uh, well, it's at least a, a budding rally to put it lightly. There is the alternate pattern that we're not done yet with this pullback. Now we could see nominally lower, I would like to stay above this box. If we do manage to do that, the red will remain primary. Otherwise, we have this blue alternate, which will make more sense when I give you the background context. If you've been following my updates on Bitcoin Cash, this will mostly be uh, just a rehash for you guys. But we are looking at this top at the end of December, I'm sorry, at the end of 2017 and early 2018 as a major third wave top with the following pullback, a fourth wave, a major fourth. This is how most of the coins are counting and we would expect one more rally left, our fifth wave. And I'm looking at this as a three-wave zigzag rally. And that interpretation is based on the internal structures of what we've had so far and in many other coins in which we clearly are in some kind of a long-term diagonal kind of structure. 
The best coin to demonstrate that is going to be Dash, in which you can clearly see, going back into history, that each of the subwaves, each of the mode of subwaves, are in, well, they can be interpreted in three wave zigzag forms. So you see an ABC here, ABC here, and therefore we'd expect our final fifth wave to be an ABC with, at least in these coins, the A and the B complete. That's how I'm interpreting Bitcoin Cash, our rally off of the bottom in December 2018. I'm counting as an A wave up and this crash as some kind of a B wave down with a final C wave left to go. That would be an impulsive five wave rally. Otherwise, if we do break below the support, again, that is the bottom we hit December of 2018, around 73.56, 74, 70, something like that. That would mean that we are still completing this fourth wave that started way back at the end of 2017. It's possible uh, if we look at the one-to-one -one rally of this one-to-one -one extension of this A, B, uh, A wave to the C wave, that would take us to about $31 or so potentially. Uh, do we need to see a little bit more evidence that we're going to fall through down at the bottom? Right now, we're looking like we're going to stick with red. Now, when we look at what we expect in the rally next, I would expect a five-wave structure as this will be a C wave and uh, it could take Five wave impulsive form, it could be a diagonal, not totally sure. We need to see some upside before we can call anything with confidence. This first wave of this rally will very likely mirror what we've seen on the downside back here. So expect something maybe in the upper $300 range, but we have a long way to go before we can cover that. In other coins, we can project where we can go. And in Ethereum especially, let me just pull that up real quick. Things are more clear here. This first wave back here that topped on June 26th, followed by the second wave, that is the first wave of a larger first wave. And if we take this larger first wave and project that out, that tops somewhere in the $4,000 range. So what I'm trying to say is that we will, once we have a larger nested set of impulsive waves, we can better project where this top will be. Whether this next rally is the first wave of this first wave or it's the first wave of the first wave of this first wave, or maybe an A wave of a larger uh, first wave, something like that. We don't know yet. We need to see some more continued upside action. Now, if you are waiting to deploy more cash, you're trying to get your position up a little bit, buy a little bit more, you can keep doing that. You can accumulate over time. I wouldn't recommend doing too many lump sums just yet. I would recommend waiting for this larger one, two setup before you go in more aggressively. That will be your best choice, your best chance to, to catch this third wave, which could take us from, 191 all the way up to 15, 24 plus. There's definitely going to be a strong resistance at our previous high from uh, 2021 at least. And if you are a little bit more aggressive, you could wait for a larger five wave rally to take place to establish itself uh, on the smaller time scale. That could take us higher. I don't have any way to project at the moment because we don't have anything to project off of. The final thing I would like to cover is if you have a lot of cash tied up in Bitcoin Cash doesn't matter which altcoin you love or hate. It's very risky. These are like speculative tech growth stocks, for a lack of a better example. When they go up, they can boom. If they don't, they can bust. Sometimes the whole crypto sector will take off while one coin lags behind or even goes offline. You never know. So diversify. Don't fall in love with just one coin. Fall in love with a bunch of them. Unless you're in Bitcoin or Ethereum, ideally you should have at least five or six different altcoins. There's so many great choices. Ethereum Classic, Litecoin, Dash, Polkadot, Chainlink, Stellar Lumens, EOS. There's an endless list of possible choices. Don't get too attached to one coin. With that being said, a lot of signs, a lot of bullish signs, even though we're in a bit of a consolidation at the exact moment. I'm going to have plenty more updates coming your way. Subscribe so that you don't miss them. And if you enjoyed my video, don't forget to give me a like. Until next time, thank you for watching and happy trading.